Hey, has anybody heard that new Slipknot album? The end so far. I think uh, if if I'm not, like a the album was titled The End So Far because it's the final album that they're making with uh with Roadrunner Records. They've been with them since '95. That's a well over 20, 20 years. That's like twenty. That's twenty twenty five years. Twenty over twenty five years. Okay, like um, they, they it's basically called The End So Far. It's it's their it's their parting album. And like um, this album, this album doesn't sound like the traditional Slipknot to me. Like the the Slipknot that I that I uh, became a fan of. Uh, like it doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like the uh, the uh, first album. It doesn't sound like Iowa, or it doesn't sound like All Hope Is Gone. All Hope Is Gone, in my opinion, was their la- was their was their last greatest album. Now this album started off. Sounded like something that doesn't uh that uh that doesn't sound like the typical uh Slipknot uh Slipknot anthems like a song a dying song time to sing it, it's a ballad it, it's there, there's a, a few ballads in this in this album that I, uh, that, that doesn't fit the maggots uh is uh, like a, I noticed a lot of a lot of Slipknot fans aka the maggots were complaining that this this album is lackluster compared to all their previous work. Like, yeah, he, he it's it's more melodic than the the, the, the uh, Slipknot's previous work. So songs like uh the uh, t- uh dying song, and uh an heirloom, and uh medicine for for the dead, uh and like a few a, a few of the songs he does kick it up a notch. Uh, with with a Slipknot style and a uh, Corey Taylor's growling vocals. But like uh, it, it, but unfortunately the um, the uh, it, the um, the the melodic the melodic theme pretty much drowns out, drowns out the um, the uh, the heaviness that Slipknot is known for. Like, uh, what, what was the purpose of uh, of putting the, the melodic uh, feel to it? Uh, like, uh, was this was this their way to saying they were pissed off at Roadrunner? And like a, uh, uh, it's a bittersweet uh, parting. But hey, it's time to move on. Like, this, this doesn't sound. This album, this is not an all hope is gone. Their last, like I said, their last greatest album was, was all hope is gone. The final album they did with the late uh, drummer Joy Joey Jordison, <laughs> with songs like uh, but then he he does kind of uh, uh, kind of kind of simmer back into the Slipknot S style, not as heavy as their previous work, but like songs like Hive Mind and Yen and a uh, Warranty. That 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 does fit the Slipknot mode, but it, it still doesn't have that heaviness that separated Slipknot from other bands. Uh, of course, I know you're gonna you're not gonna. Of course, they don't sound the same as they did twenty something years ago, but hey. Well, well, like it, it, it is what it is. Like this, this, this album, in my opinion, was not their greatest album. It, it sounds pretty good, but it, it doesn't, it doesn't match up to the first Slipknot album. It doesn't match up. It doesn't match up to uh, uh, Volume Three, the Subliminal Verses, uh, uh, the, the Great Chapter. Uh, we are not, we are not our kind. It, like those albums. You could kind of you could kind of see how they was uh in, in their previous album before you you could kind of see where they was headed but hey you have to take this unfortunate uh uh, uh unfortunate recorded with a grain of salt the, this this album was okay but it wasn't the traditional Slipknot album hopefully they'll do better with the next album but I'll just say from a scale to one to ten I give it a four from a scale to one to twenty I give it a ten.